Hey everyone, welcome to Sisters for Fi. My name is Catherine Nakup John, and here at Sisters for Fi, we help you manage your money better so that you can live a life of impact today and tomorrow. With this channel, we want to provide lessons to help you be a better steward of your money and ensure a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. In this video, we are actually going to talk about how you can make an impact with your money. We are going to cover three things that you as an individual can make to change the future state of the world. As individuals, we all have the power to make a change and even small change can lead to big impact. Today, money makes the world go round. There is just no way around it. And this is something that we all face, but it also means we have the opportunity to be more conscious of the way we use our money, what we buy, who we support with our money, what we invest in, and how we go about changing a system that relies heavily on consumption and growth. This video is part of our Save Money, Save the Planet series. You can check out the playlist above to see more videos relating to this topic. To be a better steward of your money, the first thing you want to do is to spend money more consciously. It's no coincidence that when we are conscious of what we spend our money on, it's better for the, our wallet and the planet as well. So what does this mean? This might mean carefully tracking what you're spending your money on, reviewing your debit and credit card statements, and looking to see if there were expenses that were unnecessary. And going over this can allow you to see, am I wasting money on things that I don't necessarily need or want? To help you spend money more consciously, I would recommend doing these few things. One is to make your wants few, which means really sitting down, reflecting on what you want out of life and focusing on those things. That way, when something new and shiny comes along, you are not tempted to just grab it because it's there. So sit down, reflect on what you want out of life so that you have a compass that allows you to focus you and your money. Second area is to unsubscribe from marketing emails, influencers, unfollow them um, so that you are not tempted to get these shiny new things that may not add value to your life. A lot of companies, businesses, people want your money, want you to spend money on something. So by reducing that temptation, you can also reduce the possibility that you will end up wasting money or buying something unconsciously. Third thing is to institute a waiting period when you are purchasing something. So this might be adding it to the cart, waiting a week, waiting a few days before actually purchasing something. And the goal is to have you reflect to see if it's something that's absolutely necessary for you or it was just an impulse buy at that moment in time. When you do this, you might realize that there's certain things that you don't necessarily need, which can save you money and time in the long run. Four is to consider buying items secondhand. There is a large secondhand market out there. You can search Facebook, Craigslist, Mercari, Poshmark for a lot of secondhand items. And what this allows you to do is save money because secondhand is also a, a fairly slower process than just buying straight off like a main retailer site, um, you'll have to take your time really looking for the things that you want and making sure that it's actually what you want and need. And by buying secondhand, you can also reduce the items going to the landfill and ensure there's more use out of the items circulating now. The fifth thing is to borrow, mend, or use up before buying. And many of us live in a house full of stuff. So when we do this, we can shop our own homes, be more conscious of what we have in our homes so that we can use that up, again, allowing us to save money. Sixth suggestion is to support local. Support people in your communities that are doing business so that the money circulates in your own community. 
Lastly, if you are opting to buy something new, you've waited all this time, you figured that the best option is to buy something new, is to support a business that's also supporting people, planet, and not necessarily always focusing on profit. So this may be businesses that have additional tie-ins to organizations that support some of the causes that you support. The second area to help you be a better steward of your money is to break up with your bank. Now, one of the key hallmarks of financial independence is having a robust emergency fund. This means three to six months of expenses saved up in a high yield savings account. The challenge with where to put this money is that most of the large banks out there, your Chase, Wells Fargo, all of these other banks, unfortunately, are not the best places to put your money. Many of these mainstream banks support projects that might not be in line with your values. And we need to absolutely remember that money is a multiplier, which means even if you keep a dollar in the bank, that dollar is used over and over again to fund projects for everything around the world. So when you put your money in the bank, if you have a robust emergency savings account, it doesn't stay there, right? It's, it's used to fund other things. So we need to be a bit more conscious of what happens to that money when it's at the bank. What you can do is head to mightydeposits.com where you can search for banks that are in line with your values. This may be banks that are local and support your local community. This might be banks that are funding projects that support sustainable agriculture. There's so many options for where you can put your money. You are not beholden to the mainstream banks of Wells Fargo, Chase, and so forth. So think about that where you park your money and look to see if you can break up your bank and move your emergency fund to banks that are in line with more of your values. The last area to help you be a better steward of your money is to look at your investment portfolio and consider divesting and reinvesting in companies that are in line with your values. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect investor. There's no such thing as a perfect environmentalist. There's no such thing as a perfect investment, but you can look at your portfolio and see if you can balance it out so that you are investing in companies and in the future that you want to see. The concept of divesting is all about exiting and excluding specific companies and industries from your portfolio. If you manage your own portfolio, this can be fairly easy to do when you can exclude companies. If you are part of an employer sponsored plan, this might not be as easy because you are beholden to what your company uses and the funds that they have in place. Investing in low cost index funds is the easy way to invest. But the challenge with going through this route is that you don't have a say in how the funds vote for these social responsible initiatives. Uh, many of these low cost index funds contain a lot of companies and some of these companies might not be in line with some of your values too. So you really have to weigh the good and the bad because you have to balance saving for your future but also saving for the future that you want to see. You can also use tools from asyousow.org. As You Sow is a leading shareholder advocacy group and they provide tools that rate funds based on certain criteria. If you're looking for funds that are weapon free, fossil fuel free, tobacco free, they have tools that can help you filter and search for investments that are in line with those values. I will provide a link in the description to the tool, to the asyousow.org tools, as well as Mighty Deposits to help you find the right bank for your needs. And lastly, too, don't forget that you can get vocal to change the system. This can come in so many forms from shareholder advocacy, getting vocal with companies, letting them know what they're doing good, what they're doing bad, 
requesting our leaders to make changes to vote for policies that will provide the greatest good and impact for us. Money moves the world. And we can make changes today to ensure that our money can be used for good. Lastly, even if you don't have a lot of money, you can use your time to create change. And remember that change in your local communities can go a long way to impacting the future. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with someone who could use this information. Don't forget to subscribe to Sisters for Fi for more money lessons and content to help you manage your money better so that you can live a life of impact today and tomorrow. The next video drops next Thursday, so I will see you then. Bye.